Welcome to the 2021 Florida RV Super Show. Today we're going to show you four amazing Class A motorhomes. We're going to start off with the Forest River Georgetown. Now our first Class A when we went full time was a Georgetown, so we wanted to stop to see what they had done. Ours was a Georgetown XL, and that series has just been replaced by the Georgetown GT7 that you see here. Look at that paint job. Beautiful full body paint on this. And this one really did have a lot of activity around it. You can see pass through storage there. Newly designed headlights in the front cap and newly designed rear cap that kind of goes along with that same style. Well, that's a, a big slide out. It is, and it's a very spacious coach. This is a brand new floor plan. It rides on 22 and a half inch uh, tires. It's on the new Ford F53 floor plan with the V8 for improved horsepower, torque, and fuel economy. Look at that blue ribbon. Comes in four different colors, although I am partial to that blue. I think that's really pretty. Now inside, you have the uh, sofa that converts to theater seating. It does have an overhead bunk. The dashboard and the cockpit have been completely redone with the advent of the new Ford chassis, the steering wheel, all the instrumentation is new from Ford this year. It does have a freestanding dinette with a televator. And a really nice kitchen. Big stainless steel farmhouse sink. Separate oven and deluxe propane cooktop. Pretty backsplash. Even has a Magic Chef convection oven and microwave. And something I haven't seen is an LG, but it's an LG three door refrigerator with water and ice in the door. Now the bath has a nice big vanity, plenty of space, and the sink made right into the solid surface. Good size shower. And more storage. Yeah, that storage is really nice. Good walk around bed, nice amount of space back there, plus a window out the back. And they've now put little nightstands, which was always one of my complaints. That's really nice to have. The head of the bed raises. And back in the back, they now have room for a washer, dryer, stackable. Ours just had room for a combo. So lots of nice improvements to the new Georgetown for 21. Next, we're going to a diesel pusher. And this is a Discovery. Now, Rev Group Fleetwood makes two series, a Discovery and a Discovery XLE. This is the lower price of them, the regular Discovery. It's on a Freightliner custom chassis with the Freedom Bridge architecture that's exclusive to Rev. The one we're going to go in is the 36Q. It's a brand new floor plan for 2021. 
but it is available in several other floor plans. Four different paint schemes available and this is a very unique floor plan that they've done some very clever engineering to make it work. Again, nice surround the uh, driver cockpit, navigation screen, radio screen with the camera. There it is. Something you don't find in a motorhome is an island. That gives you a lot more prep space. Absolutely. Now you've got the sofa on one side and the theater seating on the other with a televator behind the sofa, freestanding dinette, center island, and kitchen all in the front part. That table, those two little yellow latches enable that table to rotate out like a regular dining room table that you can seat four people at or it'll rotate flat against the wall for when you travel and you can still walk through the coach and access the bathroom that way. Following the trend, the lighter colored cabinets. This one did have a dishwasher in the island. Pretty floor. Side-by-side -side refrigerator. And going through the doorway, you go into the bath. The bath is a split bath with the toilet on the left, the vanity and the shower on the right as you're going towards the back. And when you get past the bathroom, you're in the bedroom. And again, it has the raised head end of the bed electrically raised your wardrobe across the back washer and dryer in the back corner lots of storage imagine coming out to that in the mornings that's really something. And you do still have room with the slides in to walk past that. That's the reason that you don't find those in motorhomes until now. So really pretty inside and out. Next up is a Holiday Rambler. This one is a new line in the Holiday Rambler coaches. It is called the Armada. And this is a beautiful beautiful coach. The model designation on this is 44, so I'm going to assume it's 44 to 45 foot long. It also is on a Freightliner custom chassis. This one's a tag axle coach and another beautiful paint job. I think I saw a lot more blue this time. Yeah, that tends to be a trend right now. Now the Armada comes in three different floor plans and the one we're going to be looking at is a 44 LE. Four different paint schemes are available. 
and this tells you about their Titan bridge chassis that they use on top of the regular uh, Freightliner custom coach. Wipers are hung from the top. That tends to be a, a new trend with the Rev coaches. And as you go up the steps, everything is light colored. The steps, the floor, the leather, the dash, it keeps everything nice and bright and open feeling. The dashboard's also kept low for good visibility. Right behind the driver's seat is a very nice three cushion sofa with the televator behind it and a freestanding dinette with a fireplace and the artwork hanging there. Across from that is a love seat. More storage all the way around. Look at that backsplash. That backsplash, I hope it looks good on, on your uh, screen because it's beautiful in person. Dishwasher again. Stainless steel farmhouse sink, French door refrigerator with water and ice in the door. I have this thing about the, the faucets. Don't ask me what it is, but that's so pretty. When we got our new coach, we almost got a Fleetwood product because she liked the faucets. <laughs> they look like a piece of artwork. Now, the bedroom... I love the touch of blue in there and that blue continues when you go on into the bathroom look at the tile in that shower that is just absolutely stunning the other thing that's unique about the shower is the floor it's the river rock floor I love that this is as much of a spa bathroom as you get in any coach. Lots of storage. Double vanity across the back corner. That beautiful backsplash tile continues there. Washer dryer in the back corner, right beside the vanity. And now we're on to a really amazing coach. This is the Numar Essex. And the Essex is the finest of the fine in the Newmar line. It's one of those coaches not for the faint of heart or not for the faint of budget, either one. Newmar's full body paint job, the, the shine looks like it's a foot deep. They make six floor plans in the Essex. They're all the 44 foot. Look this, at those steps. They look like marble. Mm -hmm. They may be, I don't know. Now that's one of those floors that comes out. Mm -hmm. The light grays in the dash, the light colored leather, the monogramming in the headrests. Large screens for navigation and rear camera. Seat 
so rich looking. Mm -hmm. Now this is built on a Spartan chassis. Detail. The woodworking in this is just amazing. It's high gloss. I'm going to call it a dark walnut or a dark mahogany in color. Very rich looking. It's almost like being in a grand old home. I was going to say it looked vintage. Mm -hmm. Running down both sides. Look at that. Wow. Nice kitchen counter with the window there. And we talk about tile backsplash, but that is amazing. That, that is, is beautiful. Any of you know that and any of you that know Kathy know how she is with peacocks and that reminds me of peacock feathers. This one has a booth dinette. Opposing seating there with a televator, that same wood used on the face of the refrigerator. That headboard. Everything is just top notch. A little window paned. Mm -hmm. Look in the headboard. The cabinets are curved across the top. Those nightstands on mm -hmm. the sides. Huge shower. Tiled floor. Teak wood fold up bench. The glass tile going all the way around there. And around there. It's bling. Mm hmm Absolutely. Even has the dispensers for your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Mm hmm Behind that toilet is an escape door. You can open that. A ladder drops down. And if you had an emergency, you can get out that way through the back of the coach. Look at those shelves. All cedar lined back here in the closet. The bathroom vanity, it's a double vanity. Those vessel sinks made out of the same solid surface as the countertops. Residential washer and dryer. All Whirlpool. And that floor. That's all the lighting in the ceiling that you're seeing reflecting on that floor. That's why so many people were gathered around the Newmar Essex. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for joining us on the tour of Class A's. Give us a thumb up, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe. Thanks. Thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.